You're planning to do a road trip through Western Australia and don't know which national parks you should visit? We've curated our top 5 national parks. This short guide should help you make the best out of your trip. Hello fellow adventurers, my name is Matthias from Bucks and Bears and together with my girlfriend Doris I'm traveling the world looking for wildlife and adventure. Today is really an exciting day for us because we are launching Wild Travel Tuesday, a new weekly YouTube series on wildlife experiences, adventure gear and travel life. We are right now on a road trip from Perth all the way up to Darwin. The past couple of weeks really blew our mind. So these are our top 5 national park highlights. Yanchep is just an hour drive up north from Perth. It is the only place where you can see koalas on the west coast. Koalas rest up to 20 hours per day, so we were really lucky to see some of them wake up and have their eucalyptus for breakfast. Tunnel Creek is located in the Kimberley region, around 600 kilometers east of Broome. In Tunnel Creek, we found Western Australia's oldest cave system, It is really exciting to step into the dark cave and wade through the ice cold water pools. If you are there already, you might as well consider going a little bit further north to Winjana. There we found heaps of freshwater crocodiles two to three meters away from us. Cape Range is close to Exmouth and is part of the Ningaloo coast. We probably had one of our best days of the whole road trip so far. We started pretty early in the morning to hit the road, suddenly a huge flock of corellas landed right next to us on the street. Cape Range is also known for the famous Ningaloo Reef, the second largest reef of Australia. Pristine waters with a nearly endless reef that is giving home to a variety of marine life. So many turtles, even an octopus. You could also hop on one of the boats and scout for mantas, whale sharks and humpback whales. Almost every operator even has a guarantee to see them included. However, we just had some really beautiful manta encounters in Indonesia so we decided to skip that one. And luckily enough, on our way back to the campsite, we were surprised by dingoes, wild dogs hunting in the dark. Karachini is on your way from Exmouth to Broome if you go inland. Karachini has the most spectacular landscapes and awesome walking trails. The picturesque trails led us into steep gorges where sometimes even climbing skills were necessary. And believe me, if you're looking for Instagrammable spots, Karajini is definitely the place to go. And number one! François Perron is located in the northern end of the peninsula of Shark Bay. When we came across the spectacular land of wilderness, we were pretty happy to own a four-wheel drive. François Perron offers by far the most exciting off-road trail system to explore. In certain places, you can even access the beach with your car and drive right next to the crystal clear water. Often we had these beautiful places just for ourselves. So one day we were watching the sunrise in the north of the peninsula and we found a huge cormorant colony there. And right next to that, then two dolphins appeared probably like four to five meters away from us and were feeding right next to the beach. Really, really nice. The water there is so crystal clear. We even spotted two manta rays, several reef sharks and a huge tiger shark just from an observation platform. 
very close to Francois Perron is Monkey Mire, an even better place to encounter wild dolphins up close and get to learn more about them. And we've got two bonus points. One goes to Calgary National Park, where we encountered our first Echidna, and the second goes to Nambung with its pinnacles. Really an awesome spot to enjoy the sunset. Let me give you a quick update about our travel plans. We have some very, very exciting trips ahead. First of all, we're going to the Kingdom of Tonga to swim with humpback whales. This has been on our bucket list for a very long time. We're super stoked to be here right in time for the whale season. Once we're finished with island life, we head over the Pacific to Anchorage to start a big road trip through Alaska and Canada. If you've enjoyed watching the first episode of Wild Travel Tuesday, hit the like button. Also, make sure to subscribe for more wildlife experiences, adventures and travel tips. Follow our adventures on Facebook and Instagram. Stay curious and see you on the next adventures.